Hi, today we are in Unit 4, the ninth day, we're looking at exterior angle inequalities. Remember, we already looked at exterior angles and we said they are equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. So let's review what that looks like. Your exterior angle is formed by extending one side. So my exterior angle is going to be, when I extend this side, it's going to be this one here that's outside. So Z is going to be an exterior angle. Okay. My two remote in angles are going to be the ones that are inside but not adjacent to angle Z. So not this one right next to it, but it's going to be angle X is going to be an in remote interior angle and angle Y is going to be a remote interior angle. And I'm putting different me measure arcs on them so you can tell that they, they shouldn't be equal to each other. Okay, they're all different angles. So my exterior angle Z, we know that is going to be equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. So that's going to be my two remote interior angles are x and y. So when I add together x plus y, I know that equals z. Okay? So knowing that, if I think of each interior angle separately, so if I look at just x or if I look at just y, and I want to know how it relates to z, are x and y each going to be greater than z or less than z? Well, if I have x and I have to add something to it to get to z, x must be smaller, right? And if I have y and I have to add something to it to get to z, y also must be smaller. So x and y each have to be less than the exterior angle z, so that way when I add them together, I get to that exterior angle, okay? We also have to remember that interior and exterior angles in a triangle have to be greater than zero, because if they're not greater than zero, an angle that equals zero is just a ray. And they can't be equal to or they can't be equal to or bigger than 180 because the three angles inside my triangle together have to make 180, right? So one angle in it of itself can't equal 180, because you have to still have some degrees left for the other two angles. Same thing with my exterior angle, it can't equal 180 because it still has to have, it's a linear pair with this interior angle here that's adjacent, and so some of that 180 has to go here. So when we know that, we know that zero is the very smallest we can be, and we can't actually equal it, which is why I say zero has to be less than what we're looking at, and it can't equal it. And 180 is at the top, and we can't actually equal 180, but 180 is gonna be bigger than whatever angles we're talking about today, okay? And then I know that my interior angles are less than the exterior angle. So I do have a less than symbol here. So I'm gonna say my, and they are the remote interior angles are always going to be less than the exterior angles. And both of these angles have to be greater than zero. All of these actually have to be greater than zero, and all of these have to be less than 100. So we actually have like a four-part inequality sentence here that we're going to be working with for each of these problems. Okay, so let's look and see how we work with this. Okay, my first example says to list all the angles of triangle EFG with measures that are less than angle 1. So if I look where angle 1 is, I know that angle 1 is an exterior angle, and things that are less than the exterior angle are the two remote interior angles. So not angle 2, because angle 2 is adjacent to it. It has to be this angle 4 has to be less than angle 1, and angle 3 has to be less than angle 1, because I know together they make angle 1. So angle 3 and angle 4 are the remote interior angles to that exterior angle, angle one. Okay? When I look at example two, if the measure of angle one equals 98 degrees, what are the possible values of angle three? So let's, we're gonna use this sentence, this inequality sentence right here to help us with that. I'm gonna say zero 
is going to be less than, I'm going to leave this blank where I'm going to put my remote interior angle, and then another less than, I'm going to leave it blank for my exterior angle, and then another less than, and then my 180. So when we first start, we're going to do zero, three less thans with two spaces, and then my 180. Okay? So the measure of angle one is 98 degrees. Look at angle one, is that an interior or an exterior angle? Okay? When I extend the side, it's outside the triangle, so I know 98 degrees is an exterior angle. So it's going to go in the blank next to the 180. 98 degrees, where this is zero. I should put degrees on these. Okay? What are the possible values of angle three? Well, if angle one is my exterior angle, the two remote angles are four and three. So that means angle three is a remote interior angle to this 98 degrees. My remote interior angle goes here. So the measure of angle three goes here. So what is my actual answer? My actual answer is that, look where the measure of angle three falls between. It falls between zero and 98. So the measure of angle three can be anything between zero degrees and 98 degrees. It can't equal zero, because then it's not an angle. It can't equal 98, because then there would be nothing left for angle four that has to add to it to make that 98 degrees. Okay, so this is what my answer looks like. My answer is this inequality, zero degrees to 98 degrees. Okay, in the next video, we're going to do some practice problems using this concept. Okay, thank you so much for watching.